All right, everybody, today's move of the night, we're actually going to look at a couple different scoring plays from Mr. Russell Westbrook. And we're going to be specifically focusing on the way he attacks the basket aggressively to finish. A lot of players ask me about this. So there's three plays we're going to look at. This transition play here where he got the M1. This play here where he grabs the rebound, quickly crosses over, gets into the paint for his shot and finishing. And one more play where he catches the ball in the half court set at the elbow, attacks the rim against Winslow and finishes at the basket. So let's look at how Russell is actually attacking the basket aggressively and what you can take away from it, most importantly. First of all, on this play where he drives in between two guys, finishes and gets the M1. Let's look at what exactly he's doing here. First thing you need to notice is look at Russell's body positioning. He has his momentum moving forward. He's not upright. He's not slowing down. And he is attacking towards the hoop. And one thing Westbrook does very well is that he changes direction while he's dribbling, but remains at full speed. Notice how he crossed over there on Richardson. Richardson had to shift his hips and shift his weight the other directions to defend him and you're going to see how Russell actually picks this ball up around the three-point line gets the ball up high near his head so that the reaching in defenders can't get to the ball because they do reach in and then he can get to the basket with two big strides and finish now as you can see he's finishing with a layup so you don't have to be able to jump as high as Westbrook but you do need to pick up that ball a lot earlier than a lot of I see players doing that extra dribble and keeping the ball too low once you pick it up is the reason why a lot of players end up not getting their finish because they're picking the ball up to wait number one giving the defender a chance to get in there on their dribble another thing that the offensive players are doing here it is another thing offensive players are doing is they are not holding that ball high enough when they pick it up watch how he picks that ball up and you see how he keeps it up high near his face watch this part right here as he crosses over this is a great angle that they have here as he crosses over so he gets that defender to have to slow down a little bit so the defender can't go full speed when he has a turn around going backwards where he has to shift his direction going backwards look how he picks this ball up he actually almost lost control of it there but he keeps it up against his face you see that defender number 17 reach in but he can't even get to the ball all he gets is a piece of russell's arm right there and then russell's able to finish and those two big strides he takes picking up the dribble early and richardson is a very athletic guy so this is not some unathletic dude he's finishing on Richardson caught up to him well was trying to catch up and was going to try to swipe and block that shot but because Russell had picked up his dribble early enough hey, Richardson cannot team. get to the ball in time and Russell's change of direction dribble right here where he crosses over from left to right right here he's still going full speed but his defender who's Richardson there who's an athletic fast guy see how he has to turn around look at Richardson see how he has to turn around and shift his weight to go to his left instead of to his right that split second and then watch Richardson watch how he still gathers to jump and try to block this shot that split second that he had to turn and change direction that Russell forced with his crossover is the reason Russell was able to get that shot off and get the M1 because you see Richardson is right there still trying to get that block despite the crossover move so that's again why I say it's the game of inches i'll probably say that a lot in these breakdowns that i'm doing here so let's look at another move that russell westbrook did last night so he grabs this rebound here he starts attacking in transition oh there's that crossover again this is something westbrook does often if you watch his game and then he finishes in the paint off the contact so i'm not even going to talk about how he makes this shot this is a very tough shot that he makes here and if you practice it you can make the shot too but i want you to look at the the strategy i guess we could say of the movement that he does so you see he's moving dribbling to his right now he sees winslow coming opened up to westbrook's right look the crossover now look at winslow had to switch his feet positioning shift his body weight in order to stay in front of westbrook or at least try to and that is the difference there where westbrook can get past him a little bit and get to the basket and you're going to see when we look at this last play exactly what i mean about getting past your defender so westbrook faces up on winslow here at the elbow who Winslow who's taller than him but Westbrook's able to dip under him and finish so players ask me what does it mean Dre when you say getting your el not elbow shoulder even with the defender's hip I'm going to show you exactly what I mean on this play so as Russ catches this ball in the post first of all he pivots on his left foot and he pivots to the outside away from the basket and then he faces up to West to 
Winslow. Now I want you to pay close attention to when Westbrook actually starts his dribble and there's a part that I'm going to freeze it here so hey, you can see exactly what I mean when I say getting even with your defender's hip. When you get even with your defender's hip, not your hip, but your defender's hip, this is when you can beat them off the dribble every single time. But you have to go with the move. So as rest starts going here, we're going to freeze it in one split second here. Where is it? Right there. Freeze it there. Look at Russ, West, Russell Westbrook's left shoulder and Winslow's left hip. You see how they're pretty much even and how Westbrook is much lower than Winslow? This is why, even though Winslow's in front of him right now, if Westbrook keeps going, pressing his advantage here, you see how in a split second, this all happens in less than one second, Russell Westbrook gets past Winslow. Now all he has to do is finish. Even though Winslow is still right there, good defense, there was no help defender there. I don't know where the help was at. And now Westbrook is able to finish because he was able to get lower and get even, get his shoulder even with the defender's hip. If your shoulder's even with the defender's hip, that means number one, you're lower than them, and number two, you have the advantage. So if you want to see more of these breakdowns, make sure you let me know in the comments. Like to hit the thumbs up on this video. Make sure you share this. Share this on your Twitter, your Facebook, wherever you share stuff. And let me know in the comments if you want to see me review a certain type of move, a certain type of player, or a certain specific player. And if I can find something useful to break down for that player or for that particular move or strategy or part of the game. Usually I focus on individual moves. I'm not a coach, so I'm not doing much X's and O's stuff. That's not my area of expertise. There are other people who probably do that much better than me, so I won't be doing that. But let me know. And also hit me on Snap at Dre Baldwin. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com.